Good morning. This is Farina Support. Today we will be learning more about our Manage User module. We will be coming to know how different users can use Farina and what would be the view on the dashboard and other privileges that are assigned to different users available in Farina. Basically, we know that Farina uses two kinds of Hello Steven, can you hear me? 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 Okay. So basically as we know that there are four kinds of users in Fedina. The parent user, the employee user, the admin user and the student user. So student user is the user which has the least number of privileges. So if you log in as a student, so if you log in as a student then the only thing that you will be able to see is the reports and the other student related information like writing about a blog, using the library, the campus news and all. So this is the view how a, stu a normal student uh, can see the dashboard in Fedina. Moreover, uh, we don't know the privileges that are, that are available for a student in Fedina are fixed. We cannot alter the privileges or we cannot change the privileges, privileges that are available to Fedina. But in case but in case of the employees we can change the number of privileges assigned to him so this this is what the student dashboard would look look like he can see the calendar he news he can upload his assignments then he can see his his or her own profile picture then he, the library the, the managed books can be done as well as the search books feature is available for a student. The next feature is to the next step of today's webinar would is, would be to go in detail about the other kinds of login, thus the parent login and the employee login. As we know that this admin is the holds the sole privileges of all different kinds of kinds of privileges. So we will be dealing up with the admin part later on. Now we would be moving upon how the parent would see the dashboard as to be. So this is what the parent dashboard would look like. In case the parent has two two siblings, then this then the parent can switch between one sibling to another using this feature which would be available if this parent have two uh, siblings or two wards uh, in this in, in the Fedina. Next we would be moving upon to know how different privileges can make can play a different role in playing with up with the privileges assigned in Fedina. So normally for a user, let us say that in your institution you have different kinds of user, so different kinds of employees. So these employees are given several tasks. Who have a different set of jobs to do up with. These jobs can be related to the HR part, can be related to the attendance part, the basically powers and all. So to keep a to keep a track record of what all employees can do they can do we need to keep keep a grip upon the privileges that they are holding up so let us say that i have a employee whose name is anthony and i want to set the privileges that he want to have only hr basics part 
then all I need to do is just click upon HR basics, save this and see how Anthony would how the dashboard of Anthony would look like having the HR basics part into it. So to know that I need to log in into my URL with Anthony's credentials. So this is what Anthony's dashboard would look like. So when we have given him the HR basics privileges, so this icon would be available on his dashboard and he can play up with the four links that has been provided to him with this. So this is he can make the other settings, the employee management part will uh, or is can be done by him. Then employee leave management, he can add the number of leaves, he can reset them so this all comes under HR basics part so once we are clicking upon to the HR basics uh, HR basics when we check this part Anthony would be having the rest of the future features so but if you are interested upon letting Anthony know oh no, all the all about his fellow employees then you can just click upon employees search and save this thing so this would make Anthony see only employee search link from in the HR part so this is how the employee search works now we would move upon to know how the employee attendance part works suppose we want to uh, know we want to let Anthony have the hold upon the attendance of all the all his fellow fellow employees then we can just click check upon this part and save it and saving it we would see that in the dashboard of Anthony we would have the HR icon again and in HR we can have the employee leave management and employee search so these two facilities will be available to him when the employee attendance would be coming up and when employee leave management he can manage all the leaves and all the rest of the things next let us know what the paisley powers is all about whenever we are checking, checking an employee with the paisley powers then he would have the power to create payslips to view payslips and to apply for a new payslip or create a new payslip. Suppose let us say that you have an employee uh, who deals with up uh, with up creating of payslips and getting it uh, getting it approved by the finance per second, by the finance section. Then you can just give him the create payslip power and create payslip power. He would be able to create the payslip of employees and he can even uh, create it by one click payslip generation and he can even do it by one, one click payslip generation moreover he can also do it by making selecting a single employee for that also our next task is to see how the finance control works suppose you have an employee who has to have the control of all the finance related queries then you can just go up onto the dashboard and you will see that the icon of finance which is available in admin will be available to this particular employee so the employees who have the finance related thing would be able to have a grip of all the finance things they can create fees create categories the transactions can be monitored donations can be looked upon 
automated transactions can be decided and the pay slip can be dealt up uh, as and the asset liability management and the deal and the daily export can also be dealt with this but if you have the event management part clicked upon this would allow the user to create more and more events and to create events you will have, you can have this link up here in on refreshing this page as the previous has been changed i would be able to know that i can create events as this would be coming up in the more menu of my part so this way i can create different different events up for him The next task is to create is to let them know how the news can be managed up. If you want for to an employee to manage the news part of it or the notice or the notices can be drawn on letting the employee have the managed news privilege and on, and on having the managed news privilege he or she can manage the news. And they can create the news and as a normal employee can they can also view the news too the add news part can be seen once the employer has been equipped with the manage news privilege similarly each of these privileges are divided for separate separate privileges so next there this thing called librarian so as a normal employee can only manage book and search books but if you are giving li a, the privilege of librarian to a particular employee then you can then you can let the employee have all the pri privileges all the a plug a, all the things that can be done using the admin privilege can also be done using the librarian also so as in, in normal scenario that is the uh, admin login we can have the library plugin as we can see that we can return book issue books library settings woman log and book renewal and manage book additional so complete privilege of the whole plugin comes up to the person who holds the librarian privilege similarly the transport admin and the hostel admin and the discipline plugin uh, are the the privileges that will be entitled to th those persons who have the have been privileged again in the custom import we have something like uh, only those persons who have the custom import privilege can do the custom import similarly the custom reports control and view uh, means that the custom reports can be generated only by those persons who have the control over who have who is either an admin or has the privilege of custom reports control over him So, um, but in custom reports, we have two kinds of uh, privileges. The first one is custom reports control, and the first one, and the next one is custom reports view. Suppose you have custom reports control, then you can you will have complete control over the custom reports. But if you have custom report view, then you can only view the custom report that is already generated. Again, in the task management part, 
you, you will be you will be able to assign tasks to different students and you have this again the and again the placement activities would give you the privileges of of all the placement activities that can be held you can even create the placement activities or uh, the or view all the all the past placement activities too moreover in the employee management manager inventory uh, you have two things employee manager inventory and the and the manager manage inventory now we will look upon these two of these two things in detail so if you are putting employee manager inventory privilege to the to this you will see three you will see three options the purchase order store items and the intents but if you go up with the other thing like the manage inventory the complete inventory thing would be available for this particular employee next comes the data management and again data management uh, you have two things that's data management and data management viewer if you if you have data management into it then uh, you can you can have complete control over the whole plugin data management but if you have data management viewer into for that particular employee then he can only view all the data managed next comes but moreover if you want to have all the privileges then you can just go upon and click upon this and this would give all the privileges under this under the administration administration operation head so next we would be moving upon the student management part in student management we have several things called admission student control student view now we would be looking upon detail in how this thing works up in admission part let us say that you have admission you click upon admission and on clicking the save part the dashboard of the uh, employee would be changed and it would have the admission icon on this thing so if you so this would allow the employee to admit students into the institution next if your students control then the students information can be viewed by the employee the student details can be searched up the he can do an advanced search and the rest of the things related to the, to the student details if you are giving the student attendance register and student view then the then he can see this different students and he can uh, put uh, he can he can see the different attendance related, related things So as we have given the employee the attendance register part, so he is able to see how the attendance register works up. But if you are giving this this employee only the attendance view part, then he can do nothing but only view the student attendance in different subjects or or different days of the week as per the timetable set and the weekday set. So this is how the student attendance part works up. Now again the applicant registration which is a different plugin. If you assign this part to an employee then he would be able to have complete control over the applicant registration. Then comes the examination control. Giving this privilege to an, em to an employee would be uh, would be to let him have the control of all of the every of the examination module 
so he can create exams he can view the results he can enter the results but again if you want that this examination can, has to be uh, differentiated into three to four categories then you can give then the privileges are distinct again it's like enter result view result so only the person who who has the enter result privilege he can only enter the result again if you if the person who has only view result he can view the results again in the manage timetable part we have two things management manage timetable and timetable view so if you are letting a person have the manage timetable part then he would be having he would be having complete privilege over the manage timetable over the timetable plugin so he would timetable module so he would be having the privilege to create different timetables edit timetable as in case of an admin but if you are letting the employee have or have only the timetable view part so he he can do nothing but view the timetables that has been already allotted again the the four parts that you can see in the social or other activity head group create poll control blog admin and gallery admin this these are the different different plugins which would be available for the employee to be to con to have a control of all the all the different uh, plugins up here then comes the last part general settings and add new batch so if you are letting the letting employee have the general settings part then he can do the general settings that are, that are to be done uh, by on the institution for the institution these things would be coming up with the student part again there is a, there is a list of thing called add new batch if you are letting the employee have to create a new batch then he would be able to create new batches using the manage courses and manage batches part So you can see that manage course and manage batch can be dealt up when add new batch privilege is given. Then we have something called the subject subject manager and the SMS manager. So if you are having if you are letting Anthony have all the three privileges, then he would be having the privilege to manage the subject. And again with the SMS part, he can create the SMS module. He can create SMS and send it to uh, his friends. So complete privilege of the SMS module would be coming up to him when he has the SMS module privilege. So this was all about the different possible kinds of user that can be done by using Ferina. So this would be the end of the session regarding manage users. Now we can deal up with the queries if you have any. Hello. Hello, Rajesh. Yes, indeed. Yes. Uh, in fact, I was uh, I was seeing uh, when you were opening the, the I think the uh, student or parent. Uh